Holy mother, it's gonna be a heck of a weekend. We got so much big news to break down for all of you guys. Today's video uh, actually brought to us by LG. A bit more on that sponsor later. But yes, we're gonna talk about stemming back several days of what's been teased by a former Halo pro and at one point in time, one of the biggest personalities ever in gaming. That being Ninja teasing a return to professional play. Now we have seen this a lot in his past in terms of his peaks and his valleys when it comes time for different games out there. Fortnite, obviously a gigantic peak. He actually did did compete in that game after previously competing in a game like Halo and then we saw him attempt maybe League of Legends not definitely going to be a pro player maybe Valorant though with his own team he did attempt to at least go to the tier 3 tier 2 stage of competitiveness out there and it was great to see forming his own team on his time in but very lately uh, if he's ever returned to Fortnite he's made it very clear to a lot of people he's not trying to be a competitive player or a pro player in Fortnite anymore, so it leaves you wondering what else might be on the table. This guy's just better than me. Like, there's no question, right? Like, I'm not trying to be this good again, right? There's just no doubt this kid's f***ing better than me. What are you doing in f***ing regular, regular solos? Explain to me. Jarni, thank you for the raid. What, like, what is this f***ing kid doing? Is he trying to prove something? Is this guy just racking up solo victories? Right? Is there not a cash cup going on? FNCS? Arena? Huh? Build battles with his buddies? What the fuck is this guy doing? What, you, you don't warm up in a, dude, There is not a competitive fucking player in this, in this, on this planet that plays regular solos. Ever. To warm up. Ever. Watch Mongrel, Benji Fishy, fucking any cracked motherfucker. And it was last week, I, I am sure that with uh, Halo Infinite slowly approaching, been approaching for a long time now, but finally set to release this holiday uh, year, it's going to be super cool to see who actually does make the switch and tries to make it in this Halo game, which we all are crossing our fingers, will have enough to retain the attention of people as long as possible. It's actually ninjas, you know, responding to all of those questions. Just licking a good old popsicle, sitting back to see what he will announce, which is very, very cool. But before we finish out this story and uh, with some responses out there from some former Halo pros and Ninja continuing the bait and tease, here's a bit more about this uh, gigantic monitor behind me and a message from myself. Boy, oh boy, if size does matter, huge shouts to LG Ultra Gear for sending this gigantic thing to the office. We just unboxed it out of a box even bigger than this bad boy, but for more details, well, let's break it down. First off, the LG Ultra Gear just looks amazing and is incredibly responsive. Its IPS screen has a one millisecond response time and 165 hertz refresh rate that can be overclocked to 180. So you get the smoothest visuals and lightning quick response times. And the screen itself is a crystal clear QHD display with LG's own nano IPS technology for the sharpest, most vibrant visuals in all your favorite games. And no matter what GPU you are gaming on, Ultra Gear has you covered. Are you rocking an NVIDIA card? Ultra Gear is NVIDIA G-Sync compatible. Got an AMD graphics card in your machine? Ultra Gear still has your back with AMD FreeSync compatibility. So if you are even considering getting a new monitor, check out the link in the description to learn more about why Ultra Gear is the best choice on the market. Thank you so much, Jake. I bet that wasn't scripted at all. And again, thanks to LG Ultra Gear. This thing was so easy to put together and I cannot express my thanks enough for this giant beast, which will now be on set always right over here. So until then, Here's me to finish out the story. Wow, thanks, Jake. That was freaking amazing. It's always weird to do those things. And thank you guys for staying tuned. The end of this one, though, Ninja baiting a return to Halo Infinite and Halo Competitive. Do you guys think that Ninja can actually make the return as a pro player? At one point in time, he was doing pretty well for himself in Fortnite, but there was still the debate of whether or not he was a top Fortnite player. It was, it was much up for debate because there were so many streamers that I would say were better players than Ninja, but even with Valorant, we saw that at a lower tier scene, him and his team could hang. That's more uh, of a team-based game, so I'm sure there's always going to be arguments against him whether or not he was being carried. Can the same be done in a game like Halo, where he does have grounds and roots already placed? Can he, at this age, out of nowhere, make a return to Halo Pro play? I'm going to be excited to see. I, I don't have my hopes too high for the top top halo scene but if he can make his debut in tournaments from here and there like he did in fortnite 
I mean, that's about as good as it gets for a lot of streamers nowadays. So do you guys think that Ninja can actually make a return to Halo? A lot of former pros, uh, well, are given the eyes, and we now wait to see if he'll make an official announcement in the future with the release of Halo Infinite. Till next time, what do y'all think? All right, drink water, drink coffee, a lot of uh, big topics to talk about, and I can't wait. I'm gonna go chug some coffee first, and then some Wawa, and I'll keep see you guys back here sometime soon. Okay, bye.